what's going on guys welcome back to pokemon tcg center today we're going to be looking at post rotation team up darkness ablaze falling sway deck so that's going to be a interesting rogue deck for sure iron defense formation ability falling sway says that for each of your fallings we in their name um all of uh, pokemon that have fallings in their name takes 20 damage less from your opponent attacks after applying weakness and resistance of course, you're going to have four falling screen plays, so damage can be reduced for 80 in total. Giga Impact can hit for 210 for two fighting in one color's energy, meaning that we can potentially attack with Karate Belt, with Fighting Energy, and with one color's energy with that Fallings. We. Fallings, the baby one, says that you can call for family with one color's energy, which is really good for the turn one. Imagine going second at your turn one with the capture energy. You can set up one Pokemon on the bench, attaching it to the Fallings, and then uh, in addition to that, you can simply also um, call for family and put two more Pokemons on the bench, which means that you can add potentially two more Fallings or Fallings we in play. Additionally to them, uh, we also have four copies of Great Ball and four copies of Quick Ball for much more easier setup. Um, we also have four copies of Crushing Hammer, which says that flip a coin, if we get hands, we can discard one of our opponent, uh, opponent's Pokemon Energy cards, which is really, really good and strong. There is also one copy of Great Catcher, featuring three copies of Boss's Orders as well. Um, mainly for the Dene, maybe for, you know, um, AP matchups, where we can definitely benefit from Great Catcher play. Um, two copies of Ordinary Road for Pokemon and Energy Recycle, if we need. Four copies of Turbo Patch for extra energy acceleration for our Falling Sui, mainly. Um, three copies of Martial Art Dojo, so we can have that damage increased as well. From Supporter Cards, to Bird Keepers, Switch Pokemon, Drop Tree Cards can be very good, especially if we don't have that um, Air Balloon available. Three Bosses Orders, four Marnies, four Professor Research, because we really want to play consistently, as uh, the most consistent as we can. One copy of Air Balloon, two of each Cape of Toughness for extra HP, and two John Bombs, which is a very interesting card here. Imagine playing against ADP with the John Bomb in the active position. You can simply force your opponent to take 10 damage back, so you can just return knockout potentially with the Fallings. With the Baby One, unfortunately, you're not going to be able, because you can hit only for 150, but if you have less price cards than your opponent, well, then the damage can be increased for 40 more, and then you can definitely hit for more than your opponent. One Karate Belt, and then three Capture Energies, four Twin, and four regular Fighting Energy cards. So this is the deck list that I'm going to use in today's video. If you already didn't, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos, hitting the likes up, and clicking the notification bell so you don't miss any future video. Let's see what this deck can do in action, so see you in the game. Okay, okie dokie. Who's gonna start first? Me. Okay. No basic Pokemon. That's perfect. Of course, you really want to start with a baby Fallings. Not with a Fallings Wii, for sure. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see what I can do there. Attach energy past turn. Well, for sure. Uh, before I play research, hopefully my opponent will put energy in place so I can try to crushing hammer it. Obviously, I'm just gonna attach Cape of the Toughness instead of the Chant Bomb because Chant Bomb is discarded at the end of the turn, so it's not where to attach that. And other than that, we are ready for that matchup. Just waiting my opponent to set up. Okay, I see Cramorant. Okay. Hmm. Energy attachment. And pass. So, obviously I'm going to attach energy. Because I'm starting first and I have energy in my hand. I'm just thinking about which tool card to attach, Karate Belt or Cape of Toughness. That is a very tough decision, to be honest. 
I'm gonna definitely try to find a bird keeper somehow in order to switch to Falling's baby one, energy spinner for three fire energies and I'm wondering is this a Placephalon post rotation list that my opponent is playing? I'm gonna find that out very soon. So it is a Salamence Wii Max instead, okay. Maybe even just a regular Salamence Wii with damage sw swoop across um, with super cross play and then spit shot for the finish with Cramorant Wii. So Wii Max, okay. So there is a Wii Max. Unfortunately, um, Salamence is weak on the lighting, not on the fighting. It has resistance on fighting. It's minus 30. Minus 30 is a big deal. Really, it is. Because I'm hitting him for like 120 with a full bench with the baby one and for like. Um, 180 with the big one, so that's 300 damage. That's not even enough for the two hit knockout. Potentially, if I have twice in play my uh, stadium, that I can do the two hit knockout. Otherwise, I cannot. Okay, so I decided to go with the um, Cape of Toughness. And in addition to that, I didn't get nothing, um, so I'm just gonna get myself a, another Falling Swing play with this Air Balloon, and I'm gonna pass the third. Alright, that looks really bad for me right now, only two Falling Swing play, but at least I managed to reduce the possibilities for my opponent to attack turn two with his... Um, Salomon Sweet Max second attack. He can still hit with the first attack for 40 40, but since I have two fallings, the damage uh, wouldn't be done to my falling sweet. Maybe on the bench with one, but I think not. A, but it should not go even on the bench with one. That's Sonic Double. So there is a Vridian Forest. Okay, so at least with Vridian Forest, I can get myself a energy. Getting the top deck fighting energy would be awesome because I would just discard it fighting energy, try the turbo patch, and potentially deal some damage. So Sonic double for nothing. It should be zero. Oof, speaking about fighting energy, look what I managed to top deck. A fighting energy. And I can try the turbo patch. And unfortunately it is tails. Story of my life. All right, additionally, we have another turbo patch. There we go. And I can Giga Impact my opponent for 210 minus 30, should be 180. I like the fact that I have John Bomb available, and he is hitting me for 240, so he's not gonna have enough for the knockout because the damage is reduced by 60, and I have 50 more HP. So that's good. But what actually um, scares me is a tool scraper play in the later stage of the game. But this Salamence for now is under my control. So that's a max wings for 240, minus 60, 180. Speaking about 180, I'm gonna need to retreat, but he decided to concede the game. He decided to concede the game, I wouldn't have enough for the knockout anyways, but that jump bump would just force my opponent to basically knock himself out, and he just decided to not to play anymore, so that's the GG. So we are uh, starting the game number two, I decided not to go first, just to see what's gonna happen if you start second. The game number one I started first, the game number two I decided to go second. That game number one versus Salamence was okay for me, um, Fallings has much better matchup versus Salamence, that's for sure. Salamence cannot one-hit knockout him if he have that um, Cape of Toughness. So let's see what's gonna happen with the game number two. Is this a hmm? Is this a a turn to Sweet Max or maybe a Sableye Wii? We shall see. The biggest, biggest problem for Falling's deck, in my opinion, is Obstagoon. Obstagoon evolves and game is over. That really hurts. It really hurts. 
So let's see, Quick Ball for Psychic Energy. It is a Dragapult Max. <sighs> Dragapult also has resistance minus 30 because it's a flying dragon. Hmm. Speak about dragon, there is a scoop up net. What my opponent can do, what he is capable to do. I don't know. I don't have too many options available. I can just call for family, I'm guessing, and just, you know, marry him or something like that. But if he, uh, he also plays that Giratina, I'm trying to see. Okay, so he benched down Giratina for no reason. Makes sense. Okay, never mind. Let's go with a Martial Art Dojo, Marty Play, assuming that he has something in his hand, like support a card potentially or something like that. I even have weakness. I even have weakness, my friends. So let's just go with the call for family. Let's just go with the call for family. All right, so speaking about weakness, he's hitting me for like 260. 260 minus 60, 200. So Cape of Toughness potentially helps me to survive until he plays one damage counter. Okay, so Shred hits for 60, but it's affected by uh, weakness for sure, so it hits for 120. And since I have three fallings, uh, does it say that it's not affected by effects of your opponent's active by effects of active Pokemon? So Banjit Pokemon does not count in this scenario. So Shred for 120. So how in the world I get knocked out with three copies of fallings on the bench? That's 60 damage. That's minus 60. So it is. So it looks like it is. It looks like the shred just goes through everything. I think this Cape of Toughness doesn't matter too much. I mean, it, it, it will save me for sure, but... I don't know. Um, quick Ball, I guess? Or... A baby fallings just in case and team attack for 90 because of the resistance and I took 20 oh I took 20 oh I didn't get crushing hammer and he knocks me out with 120 yeah if I had another falling so on the bench would be minus it, it wouldn't be minus nothing because shred goes through everything but even worse, he have another energy, so he can just max Phantom me anyways. Um, 240? 300? Oh, I'm gonna be short for 20 damage. You gotta be kidding me, even if I decide to attack with my Falling Speed. Yeah, 200. 5 damage counters goes to... Probably Falling Sweet. Karate belt. Okay, or maybe not. Let's try to find that crushing hammer and let's try to be successful with it. Shall we? I don't see Queen Energy, unfortunately. Neither crushing hammer. Neither crushing hammer. But. I do have John Bomb, so this John Bomb might go into my favor if my opponent decides to knock me out. That would be amazing. So I can maybe still win this game if I can somehow avoid boss's order play this turn. Potentially. Oh, there's a research for seven, so boss's orders will be avoided this turn. I don't think he discarded that crushing hammer with that research, or did he? He might just decide to pass the turn. If he passes the turn, I might get a crushing hammer with the research, and I might just, you know, deny him a little bit. But finding a crushing hammer, as well as two more fallings, and a tween energy, would be the perfect scenario for me. 
Actually, I need to Giga Impact him anyways. 190, and I can hit with a full bench for how much? Uh, should we calculate 150? So it's like 120, right? It is 120. But the problem is that I'm going to knock myself out as well. So I cannot do that because I'm just going to knock myself out because of the horror energies. So will I be able to get that air balloon from seven cards? Um, it's pretty hard to imagine that. Well, there is a crushing hammer at least. Hmm. But it is a Tails. Going big, big with the research. And I didn't get nothing, literally. I should rather go with the Marnie, I guess. He's putting 5 damage counters on me. And... With that being said, the game is over. I'm knocking him out, but um, he knocks my active fallings with the Dragapult and then he also knocks my bench and fallings as well. So I needed that heads on the coin flip so badly and I couldn't get it. If I at least managed to get the heads on the coin flip, I would have a chance to maybe still win this game. But um, probably not because still he would just shred me for like 120 and knock me out which he can do right now as well. So really hard for me to imagine how I can still try to win this game. It's literally impossible. So I cannot attack with my active fallings next turn, which means that I need Bird Keeper. In addition to that, too many piece of puzzles I need. So he just shreds me for 120 due to the weakness. Um, yeah, Rose, that's pretty much all he really needs. He knocks the active fallings, he knocks the bench and fallings with the max phantom, and that is a GG. So, um, not a close game at all, but he made a mistake there. What the heck did just happen? What the heck did just happen? How in the world he missed this fallings on the bench? I have no clue. I have no clue what did happen right now. But I guess it doesn't even matter too much. Because I can barely just... Let's see. Maybe I can get two crushing hammers and two heads and a coin flip. Which I don't believe is gonna happen. Well, there's a one, but I still need one more. Alright, never mind. Team attack. For 60. I needed one more heads on a coin flip, and I even misclicked that ordinary rod. So, overall, he had energy in his hand, anyways, and there's a Marty, and he had only one prize left, so I don't know what is going on, why he's just trying to. A little bit more, but anyways, um, playing versus, uh, of course, some decks are not gonna be good for you due to the weakness. I could maybe do the better job, but I didn't find support a card when I needed, and unfortunately, at the end, that was crucial for the win. So that's the GG. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Second with the game number three. Let's see. This opening hand doesn't include any basic Pokemon. Which means I will need to refresh my hand, draw seven new cards. Perfect. Two fallings, which one of them is a baby one. Quick ball, research, and twin energy means that I can start dealing the damage to my opponent at the turn one. That is a very important thing. Another Salomon Swedak. All right. Will this be better than the game number one? Let's find out. That's a weakness guard energy, which is a very key component in Salomon's deck if you really want to have decent chance against fighting decks. I managed to top deck myself a John Bomb, which I don't know if I will need. 
I think I'm not gonna need John Bomb in this matchup. So, well, at least not for now. I don't see. Actually, I should attach it. Or maybe not. I'm just trying to think right now did I made a mistake or not. Yeah, I did. Ah, never mind. Bench is full, heading for 120 due to the resistance. I forget that he can welder and also add one fire energy and then just evolve and hit for knockout. Minus 60, 150, 210. Yeah, so he can, hit, uh, he can swing for 240, so it should be enough for the knockout. Anyways, there's a Salamon Sweet Max. Um, Sonic Double cannot do anything, there is a rare fossil. Okay, so Sonic Double doesn't do anything. It cannot do anything. Will this be another conceive for my opponent? We shall see. Well, there is a welder, so he have that welder. Oof, I wish I had that John Bomb right now. Damn it. And I decided to discard it. Wow, that was really, really bad decision. I decided to keep Air Balloon. Max swings for 240. Damage reduced. And time to put my falling swing in play. Top deck. Bird Keeper. Hmm. Bird Keeper into Baby Fallings. Crushing Hammer. It is a has and a coin flip. I'm going to add that capture energy to my bench and callings and pass the turn. No more John Capes, meaning that my opponent can one hit knock on my falling sweep without too many problems. And there is also a Art Gazolt with that Biting Whirlpool for 20 damage when you attach energy from your hand. So, Welder. Whenever your opponent attaches energy card from their hand to one Pokemon, put damage counters on that Pokemon. Attach up to two energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Alright, sure. Um, Salamence, Sonic Double, knocks me out. Oh, Sonic... Did he Sonic Double? Yes, he did. That's nothing. That's zero damage because of the four fallings in play. And what a nice top deck. It is a twin energy for another team attack of 120 damage. Oh my gosh, what a mistake that was. That was a horrible mistake. Overall, I'm happy with it. Because right now I can basically add one energy to my bench and fallings and team attacking for three prize cards, which will reward me with three cards. Alright, so he really wanted to put the pressure on the fallings, so he might just Sonic double, but he made a mistake there. Oh no, he didn't, because he max wings turn before for the knockout, so I didn't realize that. Okay, so what he can do right now... He can definitely use Max Wings this turn. Or he could simply just retreat and knock me with Heavy Storm as well. Or maybe not. Minus 80, one set. Yeah, he can knock me out with the Heavy Storm. That would be actually a good move if he decide to do that. Because my hand is empty. I only have one mystery card in it. And you never know what it is. So there's a Cape of Toughness. If he attaches to the active one, it would be actually exactly 360 damage. And of course, he was clever and decided to retreat to the bench and sell him on sweet. Alright. Damage is actually uh, decreased by a lot. By 80 damage. Boss's orders top deck. What a nice top deck that is, my friends. So that's actually... Not enough for the knockout. And actually, it is 90. Okay, so oof, that was so close. Turbo patch. 
a capture energy and karate belt would be a perfect um, would be a perfect price scenario for me actually it wouldn't because he would just be on the three price cards as well okay so we are back in action back with the business um, if he hits for 240 I can reduce damage for 80 which is 160 in total so if I decide to keep my falling sweep with the um, air balloon in the front and if he evolves into Solomon's Wii Max, which he decided not to do, obviously for one reason, he look, he thinks that the heavy store might be just better, and in this case really it is, but not against big um, falling Wii, because he will definitely need Wii Max in order for him that bench at Salamence is getting more acceleration. Make do. So far for my opponent, deck works good. I cannot complain, um, neither with my deck, but uh, I only need one piece of puzzle, and that's literally a supporter card. I'm struggling to get supporter card in play. Not the boss's orders. Something that can actually... give me a something better so yeah I'm gonna definitely retreat and pass the turn and I decided to catch the Zation in the front um, not sure why I mean okay Zation win in the front if I survive this turn without being damaged or if Zation missed the switch and if I top deck good combination of cards like bird keeper into yeah still I can't knock him out never mind I should rather go for oh never mind there's a switch there is a switch into Wemax Salamence Cape of Toughness anymore doesn't work because it only works on the basic Pokemons and right now if he hits with the max well, uh, with the max wings which which he will do for sure I can probably try to somehow establish out of fallings karate belt it's all about the turbo patch it is a heads but there's a catch and that catch says that I cannot attack next turn with my Fallings Giant Impact but the problem is that this bad boy on the bench hits me for like 80 and that's not enough for a knockout okay so I'm safe from the knockout at least but there is a Fire Crystal Four energies, will there be another Salamence Wemax? If so, the game is over, and um, yeah, heavy storm. There's a communication, so that's the GG. Unfortunately, um, two defeats. Two defeats. Due to the no draw support, which basically means that we need more draw support in this build. That's the final conclusion for the deck. More draw support is what we need. So I guess I'm just going to remove that great catcher, potentially even that air balloon, and just add two more bird keepers so I can have four bird keepers in total and just switch between my Pokemons between turns and do more and more damage to my opponent be able to drop three extra cards. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit thumbs up. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.